This video is sponsored by Zugu Case, the only case you'll ever need for your iPad. Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about some amazing features for your iPad that is simply going to enhance your experience with your product. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now these tips and tricks will also include some new iPad OS 14 tactics that you're going to love. So let's dive in and get started with the very first one. So what I want you guys to do is go to your settings. All right, now this is going to be a major security and safety feature. You want to go to your settings and then you want to go to accessibility. From accessibility, scroll down until you see sound recognition. You tap on this one and what you want to do is you want to enable that, okay? And then you can pick the sounds your iPad wants to recognize anytime they happen. So for example, if there's fire in the house and if iPad actually senses that via sound waves, it is going to alert you. Or if it, if it hears sirens, smoke, or maybe a cat or dog sound, it is going to directly alert you that it, it is actually picking up those sounds somewhere in the house. And I do want to let you know the microphones on the iPad are very sensitive, so it is going to be able to pick all that up no problem. Now you can see a description of this amazing feature right here. It says, your iPad will continuously listen for certain sounds and using on-device intelligence will notify you when the sound may be recognized. So if you're looking for an extra layer of security and have your iPad help you with that, this is something you can do and you can choose all these various options here, even a baby crying, all right? Fantastic feature, let's move on to the next one. Now the next feature has to do with your Photos app. So let me launch my Photos application, I have it right over here. So basically what you can do is you can swipe up on any photo, so let's say you have any photo in front of you. All you wanna do is swipe up, okay, and you're now able to add a caption to that photo. So if I tap over here, I can add a caption for this photo, I can say Audi. And of course the reason you wanna do this is now, when you launch your Photos application, you can easily search with the caption you just added to bring up that photo directly. So remember, you go over to any photo, just swipe up, okay, and add a caption and you're good to go. Absolutely fantastic. All right, let's move on to the next tag. By the way, if you're wondering what case I'm using for my iPad Pro, this is the Zugu Alpha case. Straight up the best case I have ever used for any one of my iPads. First and foremost, it has a rock solid magnetic kickstand with 10 different viewing angles that you can adjust based on need. In every angle, it is extremely secure. In fact, the magnets are so strong, you can use them as a refrigerator mount to watch movies or follow recipes while cooking. 100% Apple Pencil compatible, the pen will attach to your iPad magnetically and also charge as usual. Now the area where the Apple Pencil attaches has a thin rubber cover so as not to leave your iPad exposed. This guarantees full body protection at all times and will ensure the Apple Pencil does not scratch the body of your iPad. Additionally, you also have an option to house your Apple Pencil in the dedicated sleeve on the rear of the case. Also, if you look carefully under the kickstand, you will see the case has air vents to keep your iPad cool under load. When you close the case, it magnetically and securely closes. It doesn't flap around, and when you open up the case, it actually wakes up your iPad every time. As if all that wasn't enough, the case also offers five foot drop protection, so your expensive iPad is gonna be safe. Once you own this case, you'll realize this is the perfect case you have been searching for all your life. Links to grab Zugu Alpha case are gonna be down below. Go check it out. All right, so the next thing has to do with privacy. So when you go into your settings, all right, and when you go to your Wi-Fi, what you can do is you can tap on the Wi-Fi that you are currently running on, and you can simply enable private address option, and this is simply going to help you reduce the tracking of your iPad as you connect from Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. Now, this is gonna be very important for people uh, that move from location to location and connect to different Wi-Fi's all the time. In your house, it's not a big deal. If your iPad does not leave the house, that's not a problem. It's your own network. But if you're outside, you're going to hotels, traveling, coffee shops, you wanna make sure this one is enabled so the tracking on your iPad can be minimized, which translates to better privacy and better security 
for you. All right, let's move on. All right, the next feature has to do with your keyboard. So let me just launch the notes application. Let me just tap over here. The keyboard comes up. Now, normally if you want to move around the cursor, you would have to tap on the screen. Sometimes it doesn't land exactly where you want it to land. So I cannot have it land between this word mainstream, no matter how hard I try. Now, what you can do is you can press and hold on the keyboard, okay? And you can move the cursor exactly where you want this is great for people that use their iPads for typing, note taking and stuff like that. Now I can easily edit that little portion as I desire. Again, press and hold. It is now a trackpad. You can put it anywhere that you want. All right, let's move on. Next thing I want to talk about has to do with your dock over here. Now at the bottom, you have applications that you put here manually. But over here, you have applications that are known as recent applications. These are app suggestions based on your usage. Now, if you don't want these guys, you can disable them. So you go to your settings, okay? And then all you do is you go to your home screen and dock, and then at the bottom, you turn off show suggested and recent apps and dock. If I disable this, if I go back out, those three applications that I use all the time, the recent app suggestions are gone. So now you can see that I have a cleaner look right over here. It's nice and centered. So it's all going to be up to you. If you want to enable them, just go like this and they're going to pop right there as you start to use them. It does reset after your first use. So if I launch any application right now, it is going to pop right there because I just recently used it. All right. Now, one thing that's really cool is you can create app pairs for a given application. So let me launch my Safari application over here. I have a one window right here. Let me create one more window. Okay, let's just go to apple.com. And what I want to do is I want to have a split screen view of two Safari apps side by side. Okay, so all I do is I can grab the tab that I want and push it to the corner. And now I have an app pair for Safari. And when I pull this up, it stays right over there and I can actually uh, operate on both of them as I please. So great side-by-side -side multitasking for the same application. Uh, again, one more example, if I go to my notes application, let me pull the keyboard down. I can grab this note and I can pull it to the corner and now I have another app pair. I have one note here, one note here. I can even reference one note to make another note if I'm researching something, okay? And again, they stay right here. You can kill them if you want. So that's the multitasking for a single app known as app pairing. Let's move on. Now, one trick that you can use to save your battery is this. You go to your settings, all right? Then you go to general. And then what you do is you go to background app refresh. Basically, you turn this off and immediately you're saving a lot of battery life on your iPad. This is gonna prevent applications to refresh their data when they're not launched, when they're in the background. Normally, if you have this enabled, applications are doing things all the time in the background, and every time they connect to the internet to refresh data, it uses extra battery life. With this one, you can save some battery if you need that extra juice. All right, let's move on. The final thing I wanna be talking about is something I use all the time, so perhaps you might like it too. So if I was on any website, okay, let me just, uh, eliminate this window. So let's say I was on any website and I scrolled all the way down on a long website. I read an article and then I want to go back to the top. Uh, what you can do is you can swipe up like this, but if the page is too long, it takes a while. All you do, if you want to go right to the top is double tap the status bar twice and boom, the website is going to jump right back to the top. All right. So those were the tips I want to share with you guys today. Make sure you stay tuned for more tips and tricks. And don't forget to check out the Zugu Alpha case for the iPad. That is simply the best case you can buy. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.